This video is going to walk you through how to set up and navigate your Amazon Fire Stick. The first thing that we need to do is sync our remote. After you have your Fire Stick plugged in and the batteries in your remote, this is the screen that's going to come up when you plug it in. So how we sync our remote is simply the, there is a button on the remote that has a picture of a home on it. Just simply hold that down. And you may have to hold this down for up to two minutes. Sometimes it takes a while. But it will sync. I get a lot of questions saying the remote's not working or what am I doing wrong. You just have to be patient. Just hold down. And you'll see in the right-hand corner a little box popped up that says New Remote Connected. Now my remote is synced. The next thing I need to do is hook my Fire Stick onto my Internet. You need to push the back arrow button on your remote. And when you push that, it's going to start scanning for networks. Now what's going to pop up is a list of all the wireless networks that are available to me. You need to go and pick your wireless network, and it's going to ask you for your password. I do not know your password. This is going to be the password of your wireless router. A keyboard's going to come up, and you need to type in the password. Please remember that passwords are case sensitive. So if you need a capital A or a capital letter, you need to scroll down to this button down here that has the little A and big A. It's kind of like your caps lock. If you select it, it's going to change everything to capital. If you select it again, then everything is lowercase. So put in your password for your internet, and then scroll down and all the way over to the right to the connect button. You can either hit your play pause button, or you can scroll down here and select collect, connect. Sorry. Now we have our remote synced and we are hooked up to the internet. The next thing we need to do is register our Amazon account. If you do not have an Amazon.com account, do not scroll over here where it says create an account. If you create an account on the Fire Stick, you will be required to put in a credit card. If you do not have an Amazon.com account, please go on your laptop or on your phone and go to Amazon.com and create an account. If you create the account on your computer, you are not required to put in a credit card. After you have your Amazon.com account, you need to register it. Simply put in the email address that you registered your account with, remembering that everything is case sensitive. After you have your email in, then scroll down to the next key down there or hit the play pause key. It will then ask you for the password for your account. Please enter in your password. Scroll down to the sign in button and hit select. Hit select again. Hit select again. You are now on the main Amazon homepage. Anything that you, if you scroll down and you try to watch any of these movies or TV shows on this page, most of these are going to require you to purchase something. This is not where you want to go to find your free movies and TV shows. Those, you need to log into an application called Kodi. And I'm going to show you how to log into it now. You're going to scroll over using the navigational ring on your remote to settings. Then scroll down by pushing down on the navigational ring, and scroll over to Applications. Once you are on Applications, hit the Select button. If you don't know which buttons are what, there is a pamphlet inside the Amazon Fire Stick box that has a picture of the remote, and it will tell you what all the buttons do. Scroll down to Managed Installed Applications and hit your Select button. Scroll down to Kodi and hit your Select button. And now we want to launch the application, so hit Select. This is the main home page of Kodi. I need you to scroll down to add-ons using the navigational ring. Scroll down to add-ons. And you will see over, if you scroll to the right and down, under program add-ons, you have Echo Wizard, Wookie, One Alliance, Aries Wizard. You may have more. You may have less in there. 
but these are all different wizards that you can use to download a build into Kodi Krypton. A build is simply a package of all different add-ons that someone has created. Essentially, they're pretty much all the same, but they may have different pictures, may have different add-ons. So I'm going to recommend one, and um, if, there's a, if there's another one that you would like, you can look at these different wizards and, and they'll be there. You can Google it and, and uh, Google trending Cody builds in Krypton, and it'll give you a list of all the different builds and some pros and cons to each one. If you want a family-friendly version that is easy to navigate, um, easy to get around, it's pretty simple. The One Alliance Wizard has a good build that is pretty simple. It is family-friendly. There is no adult channels on it. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the Aries Wizard. If you scroll over to Aries and hit Select, the Aries Wizard is downloading. Now, after you hit select for it to open, make sure you do not push any of the buttons on your remote or it will cancel it. So right now it's telling you that you're using an unstable version of Kodi. Just hit the OK button, so hit your select button. Okay, and this is the Aries Wizard. When the Aries Wizard opens up in the left-hand corner, you'll see where it says Browse Builds. Hit the select button. Now this is a whole list of different builds that are available to you. On the Aries Wizard, there are over 400 builds to choose from. I am going to show you how to load the Tomb Raider one. So using your navigational ring, if you will scroll down to Tomb Raider and hit select and scroll down. Now when you are trying to pick out a build, you need to remember to pick a Krypton build. If you have Cody 17 Krypton, it needs to be a Cody Krypton build. If you choose the Jarvis for a previous version of Cody, it will not work. So if I scroll down three, I have Tomb Raider Krypton. This one is going to be a family-friendly version without any adult channels. If you scroll down to the one below it, the Tomb Raider Krypton Adult, this is going to have adult add-ons and XXX channels. I'm going to load the Tomb Raider Krypton. Once I have it highlighted, I hit my select button, and now the install button has lit up. Hit your select button again to install. Now the Tomb Raider Krypton is downloading. This can take several minutes depending on your internet speed. Please put down your remote, do not touch anything. If you hit any of the buttons on your remote or if you accidentally hit the select key, it will cancel the download. And you'll notice in a few minutes that window that says Aries Wizard is going to disappear, but it is not done. Another window will pop up. So just wait. Wait until it's all up there. The next thing that we need to look for is where it asks us to save the skin settings. So just put your remote down. You can go get a drink. It'll take a few minutes. If going through this, you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. I usually get back to you in a few hours or a couple days. But um, basically what we've done so far is we've, we've hooked up our remote. We've got our stick onto the Internet. We've logged in um, using our Amazon.com account, and we've launched Kodi. And now we are installing a build into Kodi. I get a lot of questions, people asking, or they think that um, a jailbroken fire stick means that they're going to log in and that Netflix or Hulu or Sling is all going to be free, that those applications they're not going to have to have a monthly subscription for. And that's not the case. Um, the movies and TV shows that are available in those applications, you can find inside Kodi with the add-ons, but they are not those 
those applications are not free. So if I was wanting to watch a um, Netflix original movie, once we have our build loaded, I could go into movies and search for that movie, and it will be on the Kodi application. But it's not, you're not going to log into your Amazon Fire Stick and all that stuff on the home page be free. Another question that I get a lot is how do I look um, up channels? Unlike um, cable where you have a, you know, a TV guide or a channel, now you can see that thing just popped off the screen. Just make sure you don't push any buttons. You need to let this finish. Um, but unlike TV Guide, like where you go and you can select the Hallmark Channel or the History Channel and select it, and it's going to start playing what's on that channel, there is not really a TV Guide inside your build. Uh, basically, if you're wanting to watch something that is on the History Channel, if it is a TV show or series, you would look for it under TV shows. Um, there is an option to search by channel under TV shows. And when you go to the History Channel and select that, it's going to bring up every TV series that has aired on the History Channel. It's not going to bring up what's playing on the History Channel at this moment. So once you get into, um, once you get into the Tomb Raider, once it's loaded and we've launched it, it's going to have different sections. Um, there will be a kids section where you can find more kids movies. Um, this is where I let my kids explore. They know that they don't go around in the other um, – categories they stick right there in the kids category uh, there will be uh, tv shows movies a kids area music sports live tv but if you're wanting to watch um, a tv show let's say you're wanting to watch bones i would go into tv shows and select and then i usually just use the search option um, i scroll down to search i type in bones hit select and then it's going to bring up every single season that has aired of Bones. Um, unlike Netflix, which is usually doesn't have the latest, um, everything that has aired will be on there. Typically, um, as soon as a show airs, you'll be able to find a stream available for it. So um, it's going to bring up every single season, and then you would click the season, and then it will bring up every single episode in that season. And then you'd scroll through it and select which one you wanted to watch. Another question that, I'm com that is commonly asked is, um, it's saying no streams available or it keeps buffering. If you are having a problem with, um, with movies not playing, the first thing I tell you to do is to force stop Cody. And that simply is going, hitting the home button on your remote, going to settings, going to applications, going to manage to install applications, going to Cody, and scrolling down to force stop. After you force stop Cody, you can relaunch it. If you're still having that problem, then I would check your internet connection. As you can see, the screen popped off again, but it is not done, so do not push any buttons. Okay, now the screen has popped up to the, do you want to back up the skin profile? You need to use the navigational ring and scroll to the left and hit select. This is going to take a couple minutes for it to save this. Again, put your remote down. If you end up hitting a button on it, it will cancel it. And it does look like it's not doing anything, but it is working. Okay, so once we get into um, the Tomb Raider, another question that I, I get a lot is they'll say no streams available. Um, if this is the case, then there's typically three reasons why. One, it is a movie or something that has not even come out yet, so there definitely is no streams available. Two, it is a movie and there's that many people watching it that there are no available streams because they're all busy. Um, three, it could be your internet connection. Um, I will show you in a little bit how to go in and check your internet connection. If it does not say good or very good, if it says fair, 
you're not going to be able to stream movies and stuff. Um, they will buffer and it will take a while to be able to watch anything. If your internet connection is slower and um, there's nothing you can do about it, that's just it, you can go in and when you pick the streams out, you will see some that have HD by them. The high definition ones do require a higher speed internet. Okay, our, our window has popped up. It says Cody needs to be closed. Simply hit OK. Now I want you to go down and force stop Cody. Hit the force stop, just select it. And now you can scroll back up and hit launch application. So hit select. This time when Cody loads, it's going to look completely different. Okay, now you have Cody Krypton loaded with the Tomb Raider build. I do want to, um, I can't stress this enough, the first time you open this, you need to let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes so it can download and update all of the add-ons and skins. You'll see in just a few seconds, a bar is going to pop up on the top of the screen and it's going to show us that it's loading things. If you start trying to watch things or move around in here without those done, you're going to freeze up your fire stick. See up there at the top where it just says skin shortcuts, building menus. This is where everything's going to start downloading. Okay, if this screen pops up, do not go through and select any of this stuff. Just simply hit the select button to hit continued. Okay, when this one pops up, you need to scroll over to ignore and hit select. And now you need to wait 10, 15 minutes, let everything load, and then you'll be ready to watch whatever you're wanting to watch. Um, I will show you on here, if you look to the right, right here, movies. This is where you would go to look for your movies. And over here is TV shows. This is where you would go to look for your TV shows. It is very important that when you watch a movie, if you do not, if you want to stop the movie, you would simply hit your select button and then a little bar is going to pop up at the top that's going to have play, pause, and stop. Make sure you stop your movies before you go on. If you just hit the back button, it will exit you out of the movie, but that, that movie will continue to play in the background. And if you get a couple things playing that aren't closed, your fire stick will freeze up. So make sure when you're done watching something that you hit the stop button before you exit out of it. And when you are done with Cody, you do want to scroll over to this where it says power. Scroll down to quit and hit select. Okay, if you have any questions, just shoot me an email. Thank you.